Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and this is what we're going to be making today. It is a little wallet, but it is for money or credit cards or gift cards, whatever you want to put in there and give to someone for Christmas. These slide right down in their stocking, or you can put a string through them and hang them from your tree. They're quick and easy and very, very cute. So you're going to start off with a piece of cardstock that is 8 inches by 9 inches. And on the 8 inch side, you're going to score at 1 half. And at 1. Ooh, this is a thick cardstock. Go over those again. 1 half and 1. And then you're going to score at 7. And it's seven and a half. Then you're going to turn it one turn, turn to the nine inch side, and you're going to score at two, at two and a quarter, and at six. There we go. Two, two and a quarter, and six. That should get it right there. Then we're going to go ahead and fold and burnish this. Okay, once you have it folded and burnished, what you're going to do is on these four corners, you're going to cut away both of these score lines. So you're going to cut, find a pen. You're going to cut all of this away, all of this away, this and that. I'll hold that up where you can see it. So all four of those away. And I always cut on the inside of the score line when I'm cutting things like this, cutting the whole section away. That just makes sure for a nice clean edge. Okay, we have all of that cut away, so that is what you have right there. This is the top. The one that has the smaller rectangle, that is the top. And I'm going to go ahead and use my corner chomper, and I'm going to cut those off using the half inch side. I need to clean mine out. It's a little bit fraying there. And then on these tabs on the side, what you're going to do is fold one in and fold one back. So I'm going to go ahead and burnish that real well. So fold the bottom one in, burnish that, and then you're going to fold the top one back and burnish that real well. And then these, this bottom is going to fold up just like that. So what I do is I go in here because... Sometimes your fold doesn't want to do exactly right, so I go in and I cut it at a little bit of an angle. And then you're going to go up to this side and do the same thing. So just angle it just a little bit. And then on the top, we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to angle that in, and then I'm going to angle this one in. Okay, so that's going to fold over like that. That is going to fold up. Now on this little piece right here, on these tabs, I use score tape. It holds it together really well. You don't have to worry about it coming apart when you put the money in there or gift card, whatever. So put some score tape on there. And we're just going to peel that backing off. You're just going to make sure that your edges meet up. Now, if you want to, on these little tabs right here on the side, you can go ahead and trim those off, even with this bottom, if you want. I like to leave them on there, just in case. And then that top is going to fold over like that. So, I'm going to put Velcro 
on mine. I'm not going to use magnets because I'm going to be using these to give to the kids. And I don't want to put magnets on there. So I'm going to use some of our paper from, and I know you've seen me use this in the last three or four projects, Christmas in the Country from Prima. It's got just a tiny bit of that green in there, so I'm going to try to pull that green out. So I have a piece here that is one and three quarters by five and three quarters, and we're going to put that right there at the top. And I like how it says that complements of the season. And I'm just going to round it with my quarter inch rounder. I'm going to round it on the bottom right here. There we go. So that's going to go down right there. I'm just going to use some of my art glitter glue. And then I have a piece cut for the front right here. And this piece is cut at five and three quarters by two. So we're going to put that right there. There we go. And then I went ahead and cut a piece for the back. Just because I know that I'd have a lot of people say, you should cover the back. <laughs> so I went ahead and covered the back on this. Just in case it gets put in the stocking one way or the other, then it will be covered. So we're going to center that up. And this piece for the back is cut at five and three quarters by three and one quarter. So that's how that's going to go right there. Isn't that cute? And then I'm going to put, now you can cover this inside right here if you want to. I'm not going to cover it on mine, but you're definitely welcome to cover yours. It uh, would look cute. Just depends on how much time you have. That's my thing. If I have enough time, I cover all the places. And if I don't, then I leave some of them undone. So I'm going to put a Velcro dot right there. And these little Velcro dots, I just grabbed these at Walmart. They're very inexpensive. You get a big bag of them for a little bit of nothing. I will try to link the ones that I get below just so that you can see what kind of pack they're in. I know that helps me when I can see the pack that they're in. There we go. And they have sticky on them already, so you don't have to worry about putting sticky on them. And then I'm just going to lay that down, making sure that my top has still got that little edge on there. And press on those a little bit. Then when we lift it up, hopefully, yep, there we go. They're down there. All right, so that closes up like that. Now, you can put a ribbon around this. You can decorate this up lots and lots of different ways. I think I'm going to go back to our puffy stickers. I think they're really cute. And I'm going to put one of those on there. Just don't know which one yet. Okay, I think I'm going to use the sleigh. And what I'm going to do is I'm attaching the sleigh at the top. But I'm not going to glue this part down. What I'm going to do is take my little powder tool. And I'm going to go over that with the powder tool. And take that stickiness off of it so that it won't stick to that bottom. And then... All the stickiness will be gone, and so that won't stick down when I close that. See, it doesn't stick down, but it looks like that it's stuck down there, so that's cute. We're going to leave that like that. Now, I'm just going to put this little bow down right here. So, let's see, what else do we want to put on here? Do we want to put anything else? I think I'll use a little bit of that bling and put right down through there. 
So I hope this helped give you some Christmas ideas on projects to make really quick and easy. And if you like these type projects, I'm leaving a Christmas playlist right up here at the top. If you'll click on that, you can see a lot of different projects that we make at Christmas that are really good for um, last minute ideas, last minute gifts, that kind of thing. And then down in the bottom, if you'll hit that button and subscribe, we would appreciate it. Don't forget to click that bell when that bell pops up so that you'll be notified when we put up new videos. And as always, we thank you guys so much. We'll talk to you later.